Today we're going to attempt taking McDonald's foods and putting them into resin. We got chicken nuggets, and then we went ahead and picked up the Big Mac. What's wrong with my scissors? Are my scissors? Oh, oh, wow. there you go. <laughs> Oh my god! What happened? But first, a message from me. Hey you! Are you tired of crap kits that just don't offer anything awesome? And after you finish the box, you're pretty much left with nothing else to do? Well, we have the thing for you called Not Another Crap Kit. In this box, you'll get over six and a half pounds of craft and art supplies, an awesome exclusive mold that you can turn into a figurine that looks like this, that you can customize to creatures that look like this. But be quick because we have limited quantities. Links will be in the description box below. Cause when you're a grain, you come in like a hurricane. Hey grains and welcome to Ridiculous Idea by Ridiculous People. <laughs> you're just laughing. <laughs> okay, you're gonna go resident adventures. Nope, no, okay. no. Nope. We're changing it up. Yep. More specifically, today we're going to attempt taking McDonald's foods and putting them into resin. We're going to be doing trays and mini tray. <laughs> Tray. We're going to have to go and pick up, I would say, maybe a Big Mac with cheese. Sure. Tomato? I don't think a Big Mac usually has I don't tomato. know. I don't eat much of McDonald's. I don't know me neither. <laughs> last time I had McDonald's was actually in Japan. I think that's the last time I had McDonald's too. Yeah. And Chicky Nuggies. Oh, yes. It's your okay. case. Yeah, she absolutely. Chicky Nuggies. Okay, so well, my tray is going to be burgers and fries. And your tray? I just want Chicky Nuggies. Chicky Nuggies. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, resin is a liquid that when you mix part A and part B, you get them together and then they harden into this really cool glassy plastic type substance. I mean, as you can see on the screen here, we've done so many cool projects from a CMY cube. To pens, to little mini environments. Yeah, especially the resin light bulbs if you're interested to that down below. So now our adventure starts by going to McD's. McDonald's road trip time. <laughs> and here are the famous golden arches. I have not been through this McDonald's in a long time. Uh, oui, bonjour. Est-ce que je peux avoir un Big Mac? Uh, non, c'est juste à 11 heures, dans 15 minutes. Oh. Why? 15 minutes later. Bonjour, très grandi. Uh, yes. Uh, can I have a Big Mac, please? Yes, in trio. Uh, no, just a Big Mac. Okay. A set of four chicken nuggets. Yep. Uh, one small fry. And can I have packets of ketchup and mayo as well, please? Yep, ketchup and mayo. Okay, so second window, please. Great, thank you. Oh, actually, for the Big Mac, can we have no sauce? No sauce? No sauce. Okay, give me one second. Sure. Here we go. Wonderful. So second window, please. Thank you. The cat's in the bag. So here we are back from McDonald's, and of course, I can't keep food away from Sika. Oh, didn't you say you weren't hungry? I never said that. <laughs> Who are you lying to? I, I thought I was lying to myself, I guess. Oh, you, you know we need that for the video! A few minutes later. Alright, so here we are back again from McDonald's and Sika couldn't help herself but still eat another one. So we're down to three chicken nuggets and... Fries. <laughs> I haven't even gotten to the burger yet. Oh no! So let's go ahead and show you grains first what we got. So we got chicken nuggets, a bunch of ketchup mayo style sauce. Yeah, that's their mayonnaise. Why is it not just mayo? Because Why is it's it... their own kind. It's like their own oh. mix up on mayonnaise. Interesting. And we also have barbecue packets for the chicken nuggets. And then we went ahead and picked up the Big Mac. Not for any reason. I don't necessarily want to recreate a Big Mac in the tray. I just like the sesame bun. <laughs> so we're gonna go with the sesame bun. I want the lettuce and I want the patty. And you know what? I really like tomato, so I kind of want to throw a tomato in there. The cheese too, right? Yeah, also cheese. So we're gonna have that as well in the tray, hopefully. I don't we'll know. We'll have to see how it works out first. Yeah, we'll have to, gonna have to dehydrate them. Exactly. Technically, these burgers could go into the resin like that, but there are a couple of things that we need to do. First, we need to smush it. Because if we look at the layer that we have, well, the thickness for the tray, it's really thin. So it not has- Not made for a burger. It's not made for a burger. Well, maybe McDonald's burger, because it makes they always make it look juicy. And then you get it and, and it's like nothing. There's nothing there. There's nothing there. It's itty bitty. So it might, they might already be helping us. <laughs> so in order to assure that we have the proper thickness, but also long lasting food in resin, we're going to go ahead and dehydrate it. So as you grains can see here now, these are being dehydrated so that we can use them and hopefully they can stay good for longer. Longer, let's think let's hope. Cross. Not the same thing that Jedrick did with their video, which is basically put it in resin and watch it rot, which is still pretty cool if you grains want to watch it. I'll link it down below. We're actually going to try and 
make it aesthetically pleasing. And we're going to see how nicely we can get them to work and hopefully not rot. I don't know. Later. So here we are six hours later and my brother dehydrated everything. So we have here the lettuce. Yeah, that looks pretty good. It's gross. <laughs> no, it looks good. It, it really looks like it's not going to rot. Okay. Because it's super dehydrated. I, I hope at least we're going to keep your greens. Oh my God. What happened? Oh, what? That's a small patty. That's <laughs> what up. Look at the patties. Oh my goodness. Like there's no oh, the little onions. Oh, are there. Yeah, it's like <laughs> wow, it's so sad. Yeah. I mean, you're not really getting much protein. I think I'm only going to use one Don't patty. smell it. Don't smell it. It's awful. <coughs> It doesn't like dog food. No, it smells like fire. It smells like dog food. Like charbroil flames. No. But I'm really happy that they're actually really thin because our mold is not that thick. Our mold is petite. Yeah, and look, our brother actually flattened it with a um a pot. Oh nice. Yeah, so look at that. He did good. And it's holding it's holding its shape. So that's great. I'm I'm really liking this. I'm uh, loving it. Ha! Huh? <laughs> I see what you did there. <laughs> and oh the cheese. Did you see the tomato? Yeah, I so I know there's no tomato in the Big Mac, but I, I like tomato in my burgers. So do I. So I think we're gonna put a tomato maybe? Maybe, maybe. we'll, we'll see, see. Because we have ketchup that we wanna put in there too. And this is the only cheese that we could salvage because it melted and I totally forgot to ask him to put it aside. Oh. That's all the cheese we're getting. And your nuggies. Oh, no. Yeah, he did say he had to cut them. In half. Yeah, and remove the inside, I think. Oh no, yes. you got a nuggie. No. I, you know what? What? I guess he ate the rest. Probably. <laughs> son probably, of a gun. Son of a gun. So here they are dehydrated. And then we have the fries. Okay. Which I'm not surprised. I mean, they don't look any different other than the fact that they're not bendy. Can I hit you with this? No. Ask <laughs> no. Please? No. Please. No. Okay, just a little bit. Just, just a little? Here. Just here, here. Oh. It's hard. Yeah, it is. It's nicely dehydrated. So now that we have all of our dry ingredients, well, dehydrated ingredients, hopefully that's going to, you know, work out well. And the particular mold that we're using for making these trays was from Amazon, and the end result basically looks like this, which is really neat, and it comes with handles. I can make my own handles. So, first things first, we're gonna mix our resin, and then once we have it mixed up, we're going to put white acrylic paint so that it's opaque. I kind of want to mimic the idea that this is on a table, and I really don't want it to be transparent, so that's the route we're taking. But again, it's a super thin layer. And we're going to repeat the same process for my chicken nuggets. My chicken nuggets. My chicken nuggets. My chicken nuggets. <laughs> That's cute. I don't like chicken nuggets. I love nuggies. No matter where they're from, I don't like them. So oddly enough, this kind of paint seemed to have made this a little chunky. Looks like expired milk. Yeah, that's not what we want. So we're gonna take a bit more liquid. Okay, Sika. You told me to shake it. I know. I mean, look how vigorously she's. Oh, she's shaking it. She gonna shake it. She's shaking it. <laughs> All right, go ahead. That's it. That's good enough. That should give us a more even creamy type texture. And because I want this to be a fancy looking tray, I decided to put some Perlex powders and Sika keeps making fun of me. It's gonna look trashy. It's not gonna look trashy. Just trust me, especially when we go ahead and put that. How much do you need? Gold foil. What oh my it? God, it's even more trashy. Yeah, more. Twice as much. More. Wow. Just trust me. I know the process. Three hours later. And the last one. There you go. All right, so here we go. I really don't want this to take up too much space, so I'm going to spread it as thin as I possibly can. So there we go. Let's help the resin go. And the best thing about resin is that it actually doesn't want to flow over unless you convince it to. So we're really going to have to bring this to as far. Why don't you just pick it up and just... I could do that. Okay, go for it. There we go. All right, so we're getting this kind of tilty Kind of like those toys. Remember those toys that you try to get that ball through that maze? Oh yeah. Yeah, you remember that? It's like, it's like be like, very gentle about? and we're gonna get it all the way around. And here it is, so far so good. And here are the gold flakes that Sika absolutely disapproves of. It's gonna be good. You gonna trust me? Do I have a choice? Nope. That's what I thought. No, no choice. So we're just gonna put it on the surface. And because these things really love to flake, we're just going to kind of spread them randomly across the entire bottom part of the tray. That's gonna look good. And ta-da, this looks good. I can feel the judgment. <laughs> and here's Sika pouring her first layer too. And here they both are. We're going to put them in a level surface and wait 12 hours. 
And for my handles, I'm going to actually put red resin, well, resin mixed with pearlex powders, in the bottom parts down here, and then on top, I want to put french fries. So I'm just going to pour them up until the rim, and then we're gonna figure that part out after, once everything, the first base of everything, has basically hardened the next day. All right, so here this part is overnight because it's important that we get the handles done before the actual tray since it has to go into the tray when we put the resin. You'll see what I mean. So before we go ahead and put our fries, I'm gonna put a little bit of resin just to make sure that we don't trap any air bubbles at the bottom. Oh, that is nice and clear. Look at you. Good for you. <laughs> Okay, so far so good. And I chose two long fries and two short fries, as flat as possible. Hopefully that's as flat as I can get with these ones. Oh no, that one has a little bit of a curve. I don't think that's gonna work out. This one curves right at the top and I don't wanna break them because I want them to keep their natural shape. Oh my God, these are salty. So let me check what I can use. That is quite the straight fry, so we're gonna take that one. And I think this is the next best thing. It does have a slight curve, but not too much. Who would have thought that McDonald's fries had curves? I always thought of them as straight. I guess the commercials made it seem like that. All right, so we're gonna put this one here. And because I love asymmetry, we're gonna put that one here. <laughs> and that one here, and this one there. And now all that's left is putting the top layer. And now we're gonna set that aside again for another 12 hours. The next day. So here we are the next day. Our trays have fully hardened and so have my little fries, but the fries floated in it. Yes, they absolutely floated in it. And that's because if we learned anything from our resin pen experiment is that food floats. Yes. Which means, if we're smart, we should have learned something. So what we're gonna have to do is it's secure it. Yeah. So With resin? We could use resin and then put it down there, but I'm going to go a little bit with the cheating method. Glue gun? I'm gonna glue gun it. I thought so. Yeah, I'm gonna glue gun the pieces down, then pour the resin. But before we do that, let's go ahead and unmold the handles. Loaded it in fries. I know. So what I'm gonna have to do after is I actually want to, hang on, let's unmold it first. Oh my God, help. I'm trying, <laughs> help. it's a little soft, is it? Oh no, it is. Why? Uh, probably because it's cold overnight. Pull. Oh, there we go. So because some of the fries are actually sticking out, after everything has hardened fully, you're I'm, gonna sand it I'm down. gonna sand it down and put another layer so that we really encase these fries. So I'm gonna have the handle here. Make sure they're centered. Yeah, well, are you gonna glue them down too first? to make sure they're actually centered and then pour resin? That's probably smart. I'd like to think sometimes I'm smart. Sometimes. 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 I would sometimes say- I good ideas. Yeah, I would say it's seven times out of 10. That's not bad. It's pretty good 70%. average. 70%. Yeah, 70%. <laughs> All right, so my handles are gonna go on both extremes and now I have to decide how I want my pieces to go. So we're definitely gonna have a bun over here. Oh, you want the sauce to go there? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna have to remove the sauce from the sauce packet. Yeah. Pie. Let's first see where we go. I guess cheese is next. If we're gonna layer that stuff. Oh, that is... Yeah, it's a little flimsy. Yeah, it's a little bouncy. I do not like this curve. You yeah. know what I wanna do? What? I wanna melt it. It's been dehydrated though. I know, but... Is it gonna crack it? It hasn't been dehydrated. We just left it outside on the counter. Oh, gross. <laughs> We could probably take this, melt it slightly, and control the actual, you know, curve. Let's try that. But okay, let's say cheese is here, and I think we need a tomato. Yeah, that works. The, 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 the red's on the same side. I want it this way instead. Okay, you're kind of dabbling into my craft. Yeah, because you always do that to me. That's true. That's absolutely true. We have our patty. So you can suck it up. Wow. You <laughs> wow. Oh my god. I love you too, yeah. jeez. Okay, this there looks go. good. And then you gotta sprinkle. Oh, that's true, I forgot sprinkle. the lettuce. Yeah, Yeah. I'm not gonna sprinkle no, it just yet. No, I think yet. we should wait until we glue everything down first. But this looks good. I think so. I have goosebumps because it looks cool. I know you said it would look tacky. It's gonna look so cringe. No, it looks good. Encasing food in resin is very cringe online. Mm. We're surprised because this was my idea. I know, right? <laughs> So, like you said, seven on ten. <laughs> yep, sometimes. <laughs> All right, so I have my craft hair dryer. Here, I'll hold this down. Okay, and I'll. Isn't that mom's hair dryer? Yeah, it's a really. I think it's from like the eighties or something. <laughs> Innovation at its best. What are you doing? Take your finger off. I want to see if it's going down. Well, not yet. It hasn't been hot yet. <laughs> my finger! Aha! No. 
<laughs> and it's gotten flatter, so I think that was a good idea. And now we're going to methodically, with lots of precision, remove the sauce from the sauce packets. I don't no. trust you. Just trust me, this is very surgical, okay? You surgical? Yes, look at that. Oh yes, absolutely. <laughs> oh, what's wrong with my scissors? Are my scissors- oh, oh Wow! <laughs> Wow, you're a great surgeon. <laughs> just trust me on this. I got this. I don't trust you anymore. There we go. Do you see? And we can just squeeze it out. Yes. Smush. You're making a mess. You got this? Yeah. All right, I'm going to do the mayo. Okay, I'm going to go in very gentle, puncture the first layer. I'm really in the zone. I'm not okay with this. Smush. Oh, oh, that's a lot of... How does it taste? It like mayo. Tastes like mayo. So why is it mayo like, style? I think it's because it's like more vinegary or something. Oh, yeah, it does have a slight vinegary taste. All right, Sika's gonna go ahead and clean those. All right, so while Sika is washing off the sauces, I'm going to go ahead and glue every piece in with a little bit of glue gun, just enough to keep them in place so we don't have to worry about them. So here we go for the handle, next handle. And I'm really curious why this one is soft and I'm going to say it's probably because of Canadian weather. All right, now for the bun, just a smidgen, just enough to say that it's not gonna move. How you doing, Sika? Be good. I'm just gluing in the big players here. The big boys. The big boys. Like so. Gluing the cheese is gonna be interesting because this is hot. Yeah, it's gonna melt it, I think, a little. Oh no, I hope not. We're gonna do a moving test just to make sure that everything stays in place. Tomato. So you had your mail like this, I think. Yeah. Okay, that's okay. good. And now this bun. I think we're good? Yeah. Okay, we'll just leave it for five minutes and then we'll come back to this. All right. And now for Sika's chicken nuggets. Chicken nuggies. Chicken nuggies. Just careful so it doesn't come out. I would say, put, yeah, oh my god, you are way more generous than I am. Do not burn yourself. I'm trying not to. Don't do it. Eh. Nice. And because we are in Quebec, our text is actually both in French and English. All right, I feel like you're gonna have to be extra center, center, center more than anything. You're gonna hurt yourself. I'm fine. <laughs> oh my gosh, you're so extra. Did you not just tell me to be extra? Yeah, but I, I was thinking more center. And now for the lettuce. Poof. Magic. Glued them all there. Now that the surface is ready, I do have one main concern, which is this piece of bread here, because I feel like it's really going beyond this mold over here. So worst case scenario, once the resin has hardened, I might need to also sand it. We'll see if I need to shade it or if I need to toast it extra and then put another coat of resin on top. But for now, what we're going to do is mix our resin again, go ahead and pour it and hope that we don't get air pockets trapped a little bit of everywhere under the actual ingredients. And here's the first coat down, removed as many bubbles as I could with some heat. I'm gonna let it sit and put a second coat. And Sika's is right here. Our biggest concern is that these little nugget holes are gonna create more bubbles. All right, you're gonna have to pour right on them too. There you go. Very nice and very nice. Oh no, oh, oh no, no, oh no. So we've run into a teeny beady little problem. Let's take a closer look. As you can see, for some reason, my patty leaked some kind of grease. It's pretty gross. It is pretty gross, but you can't see it when you look from far. You really have to look really closely. I guess it's because the resin got hot. That's one theory. The other theory is because I'm heating up the top with fire, basically. You my, cooked it. Yeah, I, I may have reactivated some of the grease in the pat in, in the beef patty. The other grease also showed up on one of my chicky nuggies. It's yeah. not as bad, it's not as intense as yours, yeah. but it's still there. You definitely can't really see it unless you look close up, but it does feel greasy. Yeah. Let's unmold it first because I want to see it unmolded. Look at it. It looks really cool. I know Sika told me that there's like groups on Facebook apparently that shame people. Yeah, when you like encase food and resin. <laughs> but you know what? This looks awesome, okay? Fight me if you want to. I think it looks cool. It looks like a fun piece that you can put on your table and just talk about it. Definitely something to talk about. Definitely something. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and unmold mine. Do you need help? I think so, yeah. Why did it get stuck in? That makes no sense. I think it's like under. Look at that. There. Oh, okay, oh, you wow. got it. Yeah, but look, it ripped. Yeah, I have this issue right here too. Look. Oh no. I think it may have maybe overflowed slightly. So this mold is not... A very good mold. Not a very good mold. Look at it tear. This is a one-time use. Let me show you grains a little more closely. Yeah, so you can see here, it's almost like... Here too. Yeah. That so is weird. We got the rest of the mold off, so maybe if we just go to pull it this way, it'll be safer. 
and it hasn't even filled all the way to the top. There was a little bit of, oh my gosh, no. That is so weird. I've never seen that happen with I mold. am so disappointed. This mold took a lot of resin. No, Jeez. that's terrible. What are you doing? Oh my gosh. Yeah, so you can see some of the damage here. This is, this mold is finished. This mold is definitely finished, unless you're doing a really thin tray, which this one is already pretty thin. And then the other side. So we got three tears in total? Yeah. Also right here. Yeah, so it did rip the piece here too. I'm gonna have to sand this. But look at this. Oh my gosh. Look, and you have your handles. It is nicely and firmly on there. You can just hold with one hand if you want. And it's nicely hardened. Yeah, too. it's nicely hardened. You can definitely use this as a coaster or a centerpiece. I would definitely use this as a centerpiece. All right, let's unmold Sika's and see if we get the same issue. I was kind of scared now. Oh, okay. No, mine's so far okay. Okay, so far so good. And yours did do Overf a kind of yeah overflow well it didn't overflow but it was very yeah it's true neither of them overflowed when we say overflow we just mean like it made that little bump. kind of bump on top oh yours came off super easy super simple look at that that's cute i made my layer of white thinner so it's actually a little bit more th uh, translucent than yours oh is. that is true so you can see a little bit of the back yeah so just to make things a little cleaner we're going to take some soapy water clean up whatever grease we can sand down a little bit especially for sika's nugget what do you think, Siko? Yeah, it's gonna need some sanding down. I'm just afraid because if we go to sand it, the nuggets were already very thin mm -hmm. and domed, so I'm afraid we're gonna lose nugget. Does oh, that make sense? Oh, yeah, so you're worried that it's gonna be see-through. Yeah. We could put more resin because even if we remove the mold, we can still dome it. That's true. So we're going to go ahead and mix more resin and dome whatever pieces we can dome in order to preserve as much of the shape as possible. I also wanted to actually sand the fries on the side but Sika convinced me to go ahead and try to do a doming as well because I think they look pretty cool yeah. like that. And I think if you sand them, you're, you're going to get the inside of the fry, which isn't going to be the same color either. True. Unfortunately, some bubbles. And so here they both are, finally done. I think they look really cool, despite the fact that it could be cringe for some people. But hey, McDonald's and resin, I would say it's awesome, especially the little packets idea that Sika had and we integrated in there. I think it completes it more. It makes it more of a work of art. Ch chicken nuggies. Chicken nuggies. They still smell like chicken nuggies right now. A little bit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> As mentioned at the beginning of today's video, we are sponsored by Raycon, huge supporters of this channel. For those of you unfamiliar with Raycon, they are an absolute game changer and by far my favorite earbuds ever and starting at only about half the price of other premium brands out there there are no compromises when it comes to Raycon's earbuds I mean of course you get so many pretty colors look at these colors so you're sure to find one that fits you and this little case here will give you a full 32 hours of playback absolutely amazingly seamless Bluetooth pairing, a super compact design, and nice isolating fit because they make sure that they have fits for all different kinds of ears. Thank you, I appreciate it. So there's nothing dangling from your ears, and look how snug it is. Look, it doesn't want to fall off my ear. I'm trying, but it just don't want to. And if my word isn't enough for you, celebrities like Melissa Etheridge are absolutely obsessed. And of course, Raycon thinks about you because they want you to have a great experience. They also have a 45-day free return policy if you're not satisfied. So what are you waiting for? Check the link down below or go to buyraycon.com forward slash nerdy crafter to get 15% off your own Raycon earbuds. Thank you Raycon for sponsoring today's video. Let us know how we did in the comment section below. Is this something that you think is cool or, or do you cringe? Think it's cringe? And if you think it's cool, what other foods would you like us to make trays out of? We're gonna have to buy a new tray mold though. Probably. Probably a better quality we'll one. We'll try and find a thicker one too. Could yeah, be that would be way better. Mm. Remember, you can find Sika on Instagram at nerdy sister under and you can find me at Nerdy Crafter also on Instagram and Twitter. And if you want to watch more resin adventures, make sure you check up here. And if you want to watch a Cash or Trash, make sure you check down here. Until then, we will see you grains in the next video.